Hello and welcome to Avoiding Big Brother. In my last malware analysis summary for the channel, I covered Cobalt Strike. Cobalt Strike is a penetration testing tool that can be turned into malicious malware. And in today's video, we are covering Remcos. Remcos is sold as a legitimate remote access Trojan software package, but really it is criminals that are getting their hands on it and using it for malicious intent. Let's take a look at a report from Anyrun. The Trojan has been around since 2016 and developed in a Russian-speaking country. It allows an attacker to remotely take control of a PC. It is updated constantly and it is no wonder because this is being sold as part of a product range by a business known as Breaking Security. And when I say business, we are talking about a shady company selling this software. I'm going to pay a visit to Breaking Security's website and have a look at their shop. Now before I do so, I will include a disclaimer. This site visit is for investigation purposes only. I don't want to encourage any of you to visit this website. I will not show the website address and will not include a link to the website. There will be no footage of the software or how to use it. I just want to show you an example of an underground demanding community for software, the underground market for malware programs that is making serious money. This part of the video is to make you aware of what is going on and why you need to take cybersecurity seriously. The amount of cyber attacks is only going to increase in the future. It's only going to get worse as we rely more and more on technology, computers and the internet. And the ease with which criminals with limited skills can get their hands on products and services like Remcos. Criminals will have more and more opportunities to attack and exploit people and organisations. This is the website for Breaking Security, the organisation that is selling Remcos and other software products. The website looks professional enough, quite a dark design and a logo. And below it is saying that their products are for ethical hacking and cyber security. Let's see if the website gives away any information about this company. I shall visit the About Us and Contact pages. So according to this page, Breaking Security is a company registered in Rome, Italy. The Anyrun report said that the company was registered in Germany, but perhaps the company has relocated. There is not much else here. Let's look at the contact page, and here the site has some protection which immediately appears fishy. There is a firewall, and this is usually in place to prevent DDoS attacks. Many administrators of shady websites like dark web marketplaces will use firewalls and ask visitors to enter a capture. Law enforcement agencies will try to force a takedown of an illegal site using DDoS attacks to disrupt the services on the site to the point that it is unusable. This is a big giveaway that the owners of breaking security are shady, want to remain anonymous and know full well that their products are purchased by criminals. Not ethical hackers or security researchers looking to use the software for legal means. We don't have any other contact info other than a couple of email addresses and a contact form. We only have the area part of a postcode corresponding to Rome, Italy at the bottom of the website pages and a phrase that I think is in Latin and nothing else to give away the location and identity of the people behind this company. Here is the shop, the products on offer from Breaking Security. Pretty much a suite of products that could be used by a threat actor to carry out a cyber attack. It all looks legit and professional, something equivalent to products sold for pen testing. If this business is all about cyber security, then it is sure geared towards offensive security. Let's click on the Remcos product page. And a bit like software as a service, you can purchase a license over a period of time, or by the size of the operation, such as a group or enterprise license as shown here. The customer can also choose to include a setup service for an extra fee. There is also a free edition. Breaking Security is building its own community around the use of Remcos, and as you can see here, there are links to Telegram messaging, forums, and a blog. The developers of this software are constantly updating it, so users need to be informed of changes. Breaking Security even has a YouTube channel where they post tutorials on how to use their software. I watched a few of their videos off camera. The narrator of one of the tutorials, who was English, came across as well-spoken and educated. The video was professional in its production and presentation. Remcos is certainly developing a reputation as a dangerous and effective malware program, so much so that a threat actor operating on behalf of Russia attacked Ukrainian government agencies earlier this year. The attack involved phishing emails sent to victims that contained malicious file attachments that would install Remcos. The file was some kind of bill or invoice for the payment of internet services. 
group using REMCOS has been named UAC-0050. It is not known whether this group is a state-sponsored threat actor, but you would think that the hackers would have some connection with a Russian intelligence agency. The GRU would be a candidate. It is not known whether the attacks were successful, but the malicious file would contain an executable for REMCOS, and once REMCOS is installed, the attacker would have remote access and control of the victim's machine and be able to carry out espionage or disruptive activities. Let's continue with the analysis of REMCOS now with the AnyRUM report. The REMCOS executable is usually disguised as a legitimate file that would convince someone to click on it and open it. So something like a Word or Excel document or a PDF file. The file will contain VBS scripts and macros that would launch the executable. It makes changes to the auto run component of a Windows system. Auto run instructs the way the operating system works and takes actions such as launching programs. And in this case, it will establish the launch and operation of REMCOS and the connection to the attacker's control server. Distribution of REMCOS is through the most common attack method, spamming phishing emails that contain the malicious files. But skilled attackers will use spear phishing tactics targeting specific industries as well. These files include macros that execute REMCOS when enabled by the victim. REMCOS is then dropped into a pre-specified location on the victim's device where it establishes connection with the control server. So here we are on any run and there are plenty of samples of REMCOS. Uh, it's a common malware program doing the rounds at the moment. All these samples seem to be attacking Windows 7 machines, either 32-bit or 64-bit. If we look at the tags, a lot of them are using a keylogger program with it, or sometimes it's just REMCOS being used as a stealer itself. It's also used with other malware programs. I saw a sample down here somewhere. Here we go. There's one where it's using Formbook as well. So REMCOS will be acting as a dropper uh, that drops other malware. And it's just dropping Formbook onto the, onto the device as well. Let's just look at a simple sample here and we'll look at one that was probably part of a phishing attack. This one with the docs.executable. We'll have a look at this one. So in this case, uh, Remcos was using, used as a information stealer. And here we go. So we've got the docs executable. It then interacts with PowerShell. And PowerShell is the command line used in Windows machines. So it's likely that there was some scripting in this document. It was probably disguised as a, a Word document. There'd be VBS scripting macros in that document that would have launched, interacted with PowerShell, and then dropped the malicious executable onto the device. Let's have a look at the attack techniques. So we've got the command and scripting interpreter with PowerShell. So those VBS scripts, the macro in the malicious document, interacts with PowerShell to launch the malicious program. We see here registry keys start up. It's ch checking for that auto run, changing the values of that, instructing Windows to launch the program, which is REMCOS. And then we sort of move on to the actual information stealing activities and it's stealing credentials from web browsers and also looking for any exposed data in files so anything that's in plain text it's looking for and it's also pulling emails so it might be looking through an email client like Outlook to pull emails the attacker can then check those emails to see if there's any sensitive information included for the CNC there's a non-standard port used uh, this is a common tactic by attackers uh, they want to change the port from something like HTTPS 443, uh, change that to a different port for anti-detection, anti-analysis. And it's also looking through the system, checking software discovery, system information, uh, making sure that REMCOS can be deployed on that device before launching. So that's the attack techniques used. As I said, this has been used for information stealing. Sometimes it will use keyloggers and it may even use other malware for other activities. So let's go back to the report. Let's look at the text report for this attack.
So it's attacking Windows 7. And as we can see here, it's changing the values of the auto run file in the registry. Drops the executable, which is not the docs.executable, but the remcos executable. And from then on, it's stealing credentials either from files or from the web browsers. The file remcos.executable is dropped here into this file path percentage app data percentage. That's been pre specified, and that's where it will be dropped. This is the, the remcos.executable. The victim will think it's a docs.executable when they open that file attachment, thinking it's a Microsoft document, but really it's the remcos executable that's dropped onto the machine and where it will launch. Now, from there, the processors, it's pulling those DLL files from Windows to execute, launch, and operate remcos which will then connect to the command and control server of the attacker. And here we can see the behavior of the docs executable dropped onto the machine, interacts with the PowerShell, Remcos executable is then dropped and installed, and then from there on processes can begin. So let's scroll down further into this report. Those are the DLL files being pulled from the Windows registry. And here we've got network activity. It's through TCP or UDP protocols. That's the uh, transferring of data between the CNC and the victim's machine. We actually have a malicious uh, IP address and domain. And this will be the command and control server. Uh, that was used for the attack to interact the, between the machine and the processors. So I don't believe there are any screenshots to this report. If we scroll further down, we don't have any screenshots. But let's look at Remcos, which is quite a popular malware program at the moment. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.